Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I got my man Coach Rob here, and we're going to teach you an easy forehand. Again, easy, easy forehand. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so today, easy forehand. And who else am I going to get for an easy forehand than Coach Rob? If you've ever seen him in any of my videos, his forehand, although is kind of old school, right? It's easy. It's, it's flawless. Uh, his arm never hurts. Coach Rob never says my elbow hurts. He doesn't have a very violent motion. It's just simple straight and through now so that's why i wanted him to give you guys a lesson on easy forehand because if you can swing like him you can teach 10 hours a day too because it doesn't affect his extremities coach rob how did you learn your for your forehand um so i started playing when i was probably six or seven uh, at the club down the street from me and uh, just started playing with the wood racket and basically it was turn step and hit and I've you know over the time I've tried to make sure my use my left hand for balance and to help me with my spacing I try to catch the ball out at the end of my racket which is why the W is a little more worn here um, as I get to here I'm trying to stay on the ball I want to make sure my head's still so that I'm catching it here. I like to catch my racket because I want to make sure at the end of my swing, I've got my hand so I'm ready to come back to the ready position. And if I can just repeat that same motion over and over, turn, step, and hit, um, it's pretty easy. Um, I don't get too, um, too long. If the ball's coming faster, I'm gonna be shorter. Um, if the ball's slower, I can just keep the racket moving, but it's either kind of a, an uppercase C or a lowercase C. Um, I to think of it. Right. So I actually learned the same way. It's just that um, Andre and his radicalness kind of uh, got, my, got the rebel in me to change. So I went from continental to kind of western. Uh, because of that evolution of the tennis racket uh, where I could get away with more. So, but Coach Rob has stuck with the way uh, he was taught and it's extremely efficient. It's extremely um, easy and less you know, punishment on the wrist and the forearm. So we're going to go out to the court and show you what he does. All right, stay tuned. So we're going to do a quick drill as to uh, have Coach Rob teach you his easy forehand. Now, Coach Rob, let's start by showing them how you grip this forehand. So it looks eastern to continental to me. Is that right? Okay, so you're kind of shaking hands with it, but you're maybe a bevel over, if not continental. You're right at continental, I think. Okay. Now. When you bring the racket back, what does that look like? Okay, notice the thumb. Notice the thumb. Okay, now take it back some more. Make your C. Okay, the long flat part of the bevel, right, where the racket is perpendicular, right, your palm should be covering that, like that. So basically, you, you're backing the whole racket up and coming straight through it. 
right? Maybe Coach Rob can shed a little light on how he was taught. So I grew up at a swim and tennis club, and uh, the pro that taught me was Jim Bedillion, a uh, longtime Rin County pro. And I remember him telling me, pretend I'm in the pool, and I'm going to splash my sister. Uh, sorry, sister, if you're out there watching this. But I would take my hand and s s swing across the top of the water, pushing the water at my sibling, friend, or whoever I'm trying to splash. And so I would just take the racket and pretend the ball's on top of the water and just swing right across it or swing right through it and trying to get my racket to go towards my target. Okay, perfect. Now, what is your feet doing at this moment? I know turn, step, hit, but does that actually work and is there a better way to teach it? Um, nowadays, you know, you have more open stance, forehands. Um, if the ball's mid-court and you're not really having to go anywhere, you, you, can, you want to use your legs to load up. You're going to use your legs to create power from the waist, from, your, from the ground all the way up through your body and coming out your racket. So you're going to try to let the, the kinetic energy go all the way through the shot. And so a lot of that, you have to time it right. You do have to get yourself in position, some little steps, um, and really make sure you're seeing the ball bounce so that you're able to be right there on contact. So loading into the back leg like most tennis forehands work and yep. then kind of positioning yourself to strike and then move into the left or the front leg. Right. Right? Correct. What's your left, le what's your left hand doing? My left hand, somewhere along the line, I started pointing at the ball. I'm not sure where I picked that up but I try to use it for balance and spacing. This is my left hand's out here. I know the ball's got to be out there because I want to catch the ball, like I was saying earlier, I'm trying to hit it out here. Uh, if I'm aiming up here and I'm a little close, I'm still in the middle. But if I'm aiming in the middle and I'm too close, now I'm down here. And as we know, we don't want to be hitting it down here. So my left hand's out there for spacing. I'm going to hit there on contact and then my left hand clears and I catch the racket on my follow through. Okay, so easy squeezy, right? So I'm gonna feed Coach Rob some balls and he's gonna talk through that forehand, okay? Yeah. So I'm moving my feet, I'm anticipating the ball, I'm watching it off Harry's racket. Um, I see it coming, as I see it coming, I'm turning, I'm loading, using my legs, watching the ball on his racket so I can pick up and judge the speed and the bounce that it's going to come at me at, and then just try to stay down and through the shot and make sure I don't look up too quick. Okay, so um, here comes another coach Rob. So I turn, see it bounce. Right. What are your eyes doing? I'm following the ball off of Harry's racket. I'm tracking it coming over. I'm watching the flight of the ball over the net so I know if it's high, I'm going to have to either go back let it drop into my strike zone, or if it's coming low, I'm going to have to move up and catch it in my strike zone. If I get caught in between or I'm playing somebody with a lot of heavy topspin, that ball up here is not exactly easy with this grip. Um, so there again, catching it early, short hopping it, or if I have time, I want to get back, load up, and try to let that ball drop a little bit where then I can send it back over with some topspin. Now, what are your, what is your eyes doing? What is your chin doing? When do you look to see where you hit it? Okay, so as the ball is coming to me, I already kind of know where I want to hit it. So I don't need to look on the other side because I've already decided, hey, I'm going to hit it cross quarter. I'm hitting it down the line. So I really just need to track it looking. Usually when I look for it, I'm looking for the label on the ball, I'm looking for the seams. If I can see those things, my eyes are going to get big, the ball's going to um, really appear big, it's going to be a much easier for me to hit. I know when I'm playing well, I'm seeing the ball well. Um, so those are a lot of the things, and so what my chin's trying to do is stay right there. If I've already decided I'm going across court, boom, I'm just going to rotate through. If I'm going down the line, same idea, swing to my target, but I know when I'm not playing well, I'm usually picking my head up to see where I'm hitting it when I already know where I'm hitting it. I don't need to, I shouldn't be looking at where I'm gonna hit it. 
Okay, so let's try a couple high ones since these are the ones that are troubling to most people with this grip. Nice and high. All right, so pick it up off the ground. Or I'm going to come back, let it drop, and arc it back that way. Turn on the power. There you go. All right, so Coach Rob, how do you play against the high, heavy, modern day top spinners? So, so it, depending on the scenario, but the high spin ball guys, I either will have to play deeper in the court, play myself back farther and allow that ball to kind of drop a little bit more so I can catch it more in, in my strike zone versus getting it up here. Um, or I'm gonna have to try to move up and short hop more balls and try not to get into long rallies with them. Um, my game and my size, my height, I'm more built for getting to the net. Um, my idea is three ground strokes and find a way to get to the net. Create a short ball, something where I can move forward and get control of the point, whether I'm approaching up the line, um, trying to get a volley, get them to hit me a lob. Um, that would be my style. Preferably against guys who are trying to, you know, stay back at the baseline and try to out rally me. But what about those guys who go heavy? like flat, hitting as hard as I can at you. Um, how does that forehand um, apply to those type of shots? Those I love, because if it's flat and hard, it's, I know it's gonna bounce in the same height every time. So that ball, you can groove on, and it's like a flat, hard serve. You know it's gonna bounce at the same height. You just gotta know is it coming right or left, but if it's coming hard and flat, you're right there, right on it, because it's not going to be above your strike zone. So that's, that's perfect. So it just depends, like what Coach Rob said, how big is your C? If you have time, you're going to have a big C going on, right? The big kind of loopy swing coming right through. If that thing is coming hot and hard, hot and heavy, right? You just bring it back a little smaller, go little C right through, right? So practice that at home. If you are just starting the game, if let's say that um, Western stroke is killing you, right? And you can get yourself to change to like an older, olden style, um, continental to Eastern grip stroke like Coach Rob has, your tennis life will definitely be extended, okay? Because it's a much easier stroke for your body, for your arm, um, you know, for pretty much everything that you will need to keep your tennis career longer okay want to thank my man coach rob for hanging out with me today and teaching us his easy forehand all right thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis Did you